everybody, just a really quick look at something that's a little bit now of a quirk inside Logic. It's not uh, something that gets used very often, but it's the performance feature when you're working with your channel strips. So if you go to your settings here, you can save a channel strip as a channel strip or as a performance. So the performances, you see I have just four of them right now, these are different than saving your channel strips. Channel strips are really aimed at uh, making it so that you can pull those up with a new project or in a different project. Uh, those are pretty handy. But the performances, these are really designed to be used in a live performance setting. They do save the channel strip, but they save them for a little bit different use. And that is so that you can send a program change MIDI uh, trigger and it will change that real time. So I know a lot of people have wished that they could have a channel change in the middle of a mix. I mean, sure, most computers now you can add as many as you want. That's not a big deal. But so let's come through here and let's load up something totally different. Pipe Oregon here. Let's see. Let's do. There we go. Ah, you'll see we actually, it won't let me load it right this second. Interesting. And that's because I already have this set up a certain way. Let's do a new channel. I just learned something new. I didn't realize it was going to do that the way I have it set up. Oh, I am super annoyed. Okay, mute. Fugue organ. Okay, let me. I'll explain what's going on in just a second. Let me um, save this one as a performance, and we'll just do the next one in the row. And so, what I've got going on is that I now have these channel strips selected. Um, by these program change MIDI data information pieces. Let's set this to channel 2 so that way we don't have this problem. Still doing it. I hate you. Okay. And that's because it's going out all of them. Okay, interesting this one. Let's now explain what I have going on here because you can't automate a piece of MIDI. So say I have this MIDI right here and this track. It has program change information in it and we'll talk about what that is in just a second. And you'll see as I'm moving it through here it doesn't change the channel strip. And that's because Logic is set up so that it won't react to that information on a track itself. It doesn't come in from the track itself, just from an external source. So I have an external MIDI track set up and the output is set to the IAC driver. Now if you don't know what the IAC driver is, you should probably learn about it a little bit. It's in here in our MIDI studio inside our audio MIDI uh, setup application. By default, this is set to offline, but I just came in here and turned it on. This is a virtual MIDI tunnel which means that once that's activated, anything that is set to the output of that, it'll go through that, and then it'll go to anything that has the input of that. Now Logic, because it's a little bit stupid, actually accepts MIDI from all sources equally. It doesn't really have the same input setup that you have like in Pro Tools or Ableton or any place else. It's not as cool. So, for instance, I can set the output to the IAC driver, bus 1 through 16. This is built into OS 10, so it's not like you have to add anything. Channel 1. And then on these inputs, I was setting it to be... Oh, so okay, let's go to channel 1 for that. And channel 2 for this. Now, as I scan through this, you'll see that changes when I hit the program change information. The question I don't understand is why this one is also changing because it is set to a different channel. Okay, 
gonna have to sort that one out. Anyway, so now I can actually set these channels to change the performance based on that program change information. So the program change information down here in the piano roll, uh, you can look at it under program change. And then I've got a few of these, so we can change it up to here. And it will just change any time. Now it does take a moment to change, so you can't do it in between fast notes. So it does take a second, but think of the possibilities if you wanted to work this way. And really this is set up for live performance, so that if you have a MIDI uh, a logic project that you want to actually change the instrument real time, you can set up your external keyboard to send out program change, and you can just stay on one track, trigger that change, and it will go to a different instrument and load up that entire set of everything. Now, if you're doing live stuff, most of the time you're going to find yourself in something like main stage. But this is just another example of something we can do here. So if we're doing it inside of a project, I have the external MIDI track with the program change information sent out through the IAC back into one of these other instruments. And this is not ideal, but um, it's a way you could do it. And it demonstrates how you could do this in live performance. Okay. That's really it. I uh, just wanted to kind of talk about this little quirky part of logic. I will see you all next time.